is the charging pack. So you simply just place the batteries inside there. You've got this USB mini one goes in right over there and this cable goes right there. Easy as, just like charging a phone and they should start lining up and charging. Now regarding charging the battery, you can charge it inside the drone itself by plugging it in around the back or you can use a triple battery pack which you get with the DJI Fly More combo pack. And just like that, each battery will start charging up one by one so it will automatically fill up the batteries depending on which one is the fullest so that way you always have a maximum capacity battery filled up as quickly as possible. Except one thing to be aware of, or a couple of things to be aware of, use a good cable, so the cable that is provided by DJI, that's a good one. However, I tried using another one, one that came with my Chromecast. I originally tried charging my batteries with uh, a cable I got from a Chromecast and it was taking forever to charge up. So just make sure you use um, a good cable and not a bad one. It was a long one, it didn't work too well, it was taking forever to charge the battery, so your battery should take around two hours to charge, but if it's taking longer than that, check your cable, make sure it's right. One thing I say about the batteries, don't just leave it constantly plugged in, recharging, because the batteries themselves, they don't have indicators on the actual batteries about the charge levels. What I recommend you do is charge them up overnight when you plan to use them for the next day. And don't leave them constantly charged in, because again, with my previous drone, I left that guy constantly charged in and one of the batteries just failed within about a year. So my advice, don't leave them constantly charged in. Another thing to be aware of, is if you are traveling with your drone, batteries, get yourself a LiPo bag. This guy is made to reduce the chances of bad stuff happening when bad stuff happens to batteries. Batteries can, you know, explode. They can get set on fire. Keep your batteries inside one of these bags. Be safe when traveling. And finally, be aware, batteries are only warranted for around six months, which means DJI know that they can get damaged and issues can happen with them. My previous DJI Mavic Pro Platinum, my battery, it died after um, about a year's usage. The drone just said I refuse to fly with it. It was something up with the voltage. And even in the flight I'm gonna show you today, my drone, towards the end of the flight, it said there was something up with the voltage and it just had to land. In 10 seconds, you just have to land wherever it is. I'm gonna get into that, into the flying section and how to be safe, but just be aware, have multiple batteries because you know, sometimes, you know, the 30 minute flight, which it says it can fly, isn't really 30 minutes because it's only 21 minutes of actually flying and nine minutes of it beeping the hell, telling you you need to land. And if you fly in sports mode, the fast mode to combat the wind, it's gonna be less, about 20 minutes total flight time, which means 50 minutes flight times, five minutes warning time. Don't worry, we're gonna get into that in a bit, but that's the battery situation. And to take out the battery, you push this button inwards and pull up like that. A bit fiddly as usual. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly, but you get the hang of it. It's not a deal breaker. And slot the battery in, it's pretty simple. You just slot it in. There's only one way you can go, and just like that. And now, lock the door in, and your drone should be ready to connect. And to charge the remote, you use this port over here, and you simply just plug it in, just like before, but just making sure that you put it in the right way. So it's with the shorter side at the top and the longer side at the bottom, just like that. And the indicator will start lighting up to show you that it is being charged. So I'm just currently flying it along this beautiful coast, endless coast, 300 meters away. And the battery is now officially low. So it's gonna start heading home. We're about 31% battery life. Flight time is officially 30 minutes, that's on P mode. However, on S mode, it's around 20 minutes. And for 20% of that 20 minutes, so five minutes and 11 minutes, it's gonna be beeping, beep, 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 you must land. So flight time isn't 30 minutes, it's more like 20 minutes or 15 minutes if you're in S mode. Don't let it get too far away. And things can go wrong. It says battery cells under voltage, replace the battery. 11% battery life. This one might come in for a crash landing. I'm trying, but the battery's dying. Can you pick up the stuff and we'll head towards? Battery death. Now this happened to me when I was around 10% battery. I said something is up with the voltage of the battery. Brad, thank you, new battery. So it had issues from the start. It could happen at any moment. 
and that's battery death. And when, once you get that, it will say you have 10 seconds to land your drone wherever the hell it is. That's why you should keep close. That's why you should know. Luckily for me, and I was in a, an open space. So I looked around quickly. I saw a massive open space and I landed it right in the bushes far away. And then I just quickly ran up and I got it. And uh, you can't fly it, but the lights do still flash. So you can pick it up from the bushes where you landed it. So just be aware if you have a bad battery and the bad battery could be a brand spanking new battery like it happened to me, you will have to perform an emergency landing. That's why I say keep your drone always line of sight and uh, be prepared to land at any moment. So just be aware of these risks when flying it.